Thun. Yes, Professor Thun? Where the hell am I? Hey everybody, you've been asking for a new Reverse Flash, so here it is. We're going to talk all about him coming back on the TV show and the way he came back in the comics. There is a new round of the Flash Ring giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber, leave a comment on this video, be sure to click that bell to enable alerts too so you don't miss anything during the summer. The really cool thing that's happening right now is that there are things that are happening in the comics that are very similar to what's happening on the TV show, which is very rare. Usually the comics are very different, but now during the Flash rebirth, they're actually using a lot of big twists, Flashpoint style, that the TV show just did. Barry completely destroying everyone's lives in the reverse Flash being a victim of that, just like everyone else, then trying to take advantage of that pain to twist the group against Barry. Because the whole thing, you know, Barry is a good person, he tries to do good things, but he makes mistakes. So the reverse Flash is a lot like Psycho Pirate in that he remembers everything from before things were changed. Like he remembers everything before Flashpoint on the TV show. So if you don't know who Psycho Pirate is, he's just a character who remembers alternate realities. So when you have big crisis on infinite earth level events, usually all the characters get changed and if they're not retcon, they never reference what happened before the crisis ever again. They just go forward with a new reality, everything gets rebooted, and everybody's happy. But sometimes things change for the worse. So Psycho Pirate, the Reverse Flash are like, hey, remember that time the Flash did all these terrible things? And for about the past year or so, they've been teasing his return in the comics. He just came back during the Flash Batman button crossover. So a lot of you might know what's going on with the button storyline. This is all pure TV show, pure Flash comics, and it offers some clues for how the reverse Flash can come back on the TV show. Now, the plot lines are always just a little bit different, but the twists, the mechanics are always really important. So a lot of these twists are taken from the recent Flash rebirth twist. So just careful for spoilers for everything that's happened in the comics so far and everything that's happened on the TV show. Starting with the TV show, all the versions of the reverse Flash that we've seen so far have been killed off or have been retconned by the big paradox wave the same way that Savitar was killed this past season. So you have either the Black Flash or you just have time itself just acting to get rid of anomalies. Those were all wrapped up, but in doing so, Barry also caused some big problems where the Speed Force literally shat itself, which is why everybody's like, oh my god, this is the Flash Rebirth twist. There's all these speedsters that might pop up. That's probably not what's going to happen on the TV show, but it's very similar to the Speed Force Storm of the comics, in that the same twist that compels Barry to walk into it to help heal the Speed Force, like he's literally trying to fix things, also causes some problems that they'll pick up on in Season 4. But as you know, any time that Barry causes a huge world-altering problem like this, there's always villains that take advantage of it. So one thing that the TV show has not done with the Reverse Flash is show him creating the negative speed force. That's one way that he can come back. The other way they discussed this week in this past Flash comic that just came out. So in the Flash number 24, Reverse Flash has come back and he's torturing Wally and Iris West. In this version of events, Wally is Iris's nephew, but he's the son of the Daniel West Reverse Flash, who's believed to be dead right now. So during the New 52, there was no reverse flash. He says that he was away healing in the Speed Force, which is basically what the TV show Reverse Flash is doing right now. One of the few problems with the TV show, though, is that it hasn't quite caught up to all the big comic book twists. So when we do see Reverse Flash, it'll be a little bit different than when we're seeing him again in the comics. So I'll explain how that works. But the really twisted thing here is that when he comes back, he starts teasing Impulse. Bart Allen Kid Flash, and he talks about Wally living in the Flash's shadow. That was a quote that was given to Bart Allen. What a coincidence that I just did a video about Bart Allen on the TV show, them sort of prophesying his eventual arrival in the reverse Flash in the comics that they wrote months ago, talking about the arrival of Bart Allen in this new Rebirth universe. If you've never seen him before on social media, the TV show Reverse Flash is actually a really cool dude in real life. His name is Matt Letcher. When they brought him back for Legends of Tomorrow, he even tried to do an explainer for how his timeline worked. He's like, this sounds kind of complicated, but this is the way the showrunners have explained it to me. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I'm not great at this, but I will do my best to uh, talk about 
What I understand about Eobard Thawne's timeline um, as it relates to what we've seen so far on The Flash and Legends of Tomorrow. And it's actually a really good example for the thought process for the TV show writers for how they bring people back when they die, but they're big time traveling characters with crazy powers like the reverse Flash. So you'll never get rid of him completely. It's just that when he comes back, it'll be a slightly different version or it'll be someone from earlier in the timeline which was the case when they brought him back for Legends of Tomorrow. So I'm really hoping that they take advantage of some of the more elegant explainers for the Reverse Flash returning in the comics on the TV show. But based on the TV show's explanation of time travel, everywhere Reverse Flash is time traveling using the speed force from before Eddie killed himself is still intact. So that's how Eobard Thawne can die in the future after Eddie kills himself because normal time travel rules. But when you use the speed force, when you travel into it, you're sort of isolated from time space. So you're not affected by big paradox waves that killed the reverse flash in this moment here during the season one finale. The added bonus to that is that that protects you from things like Flashpoint, other big universe altering events. And that's on the TV show and in the comics. So when the reverse flash of the comics says that he has just been healing in the speed force this whole time during the new 52 comics and now he's finally come back, that's also a bit of a hat tip for how the TV show reverse flash can come back. The beauty and the curse of the speed force is that it's sort of a blanket cure for any story problems you might have. Where did this character go? Oh, he was in the speed force. The speed force healed him. The joke after season two, when Barry came back during Runaway Dinosaur, got his powers back, was that we're not going to explain anything. Even though that might sound kind of stupid, there actually is some logic to it. So when we get episodes like that in season four, and there's crazy Speed Force things happening that don't seemingly make sense, or they don't explain on the TV show, then I'll try to explain what's going on from a comic book perspective. Because any crazy twist like Savitar slicing himself up across space-time, Molecule Man style in the finale... There's surprisingly easy ways of explaining it. The big twist that I don't know if they'll ever get to on the TV show, though, this is really where you get crazy. You think about crazy twists, Iris West secretly being from the future. So comic book reverse Flash is trying to remind Iris of all the stuff from before Flashpoint. TV show reverse Flash might also introduce some of those ideas, but of all the things they could possibly do from the comics, it's really low on my list. Let me know in the comments, though. We could actually make this about a future video. Do you think that the TV show will ever try to do the Iris West is secretly from the future storyline? It almost seems too ridiculous for them to do, but they could have a little bit of fun with it. You'd have to explain, though, how Joe didn't know that his daughter was secretly from the future. Because as much as Joe has withheld the truth from Iris in the past, like your mother was a junkie, we didn't learn about that till season two. It would be a really hard sell to explain how Joe didn't know that his daughter was from the future. Oh, by the way, I kept another huge secret from you guys. You're secretly from the 30th century, and you also helped send Bart Allen back in time. So when we get into, like, really crazy TV show time travel, the one thing that they did that I think they'll try to take advantage of in the future is the idea that Abracadabra is from the 64th century. So all this craziness that's been going on, people changing time, he knows about it, so he can always come back and tease something that will eventually happen, like the thinker being the big villain. Because one thing the TV show is really good at is sort of calling its home run Babe Ruth style, like, oh yeah, we're totally going to do Killer Frost. Oh yeah, we're totally going to do the thinker. They could do the same thing with Bart Allen or any other version of the Flash that they want. Just remember when you're theorizing about Reverse Flash coming back on the TV show, Try to make it as simple as possible. The TV show tries to make itself watchable for people that don't read the comics. So like we have crazy ways of explaining speed force logic. But imagine somebody sitting in a trailer park getting this explainer from Harrison Wells where it's like, okay, speed force protected him. That's how he's back. Literally like a one sentence explainer, even though in reality it's way more complicated and way more interesting. So if you haven't started reading the comics yet, Flash Rebirth has been amazing. Just start with that. You don't have to read the old stuff if you don't want to. If you've already read the new stuff, then yeah, you can go back. Mark Wade is sort of like the PhD course in The Flash. The Flash Rebirth is made to be a little bit easier to read for new people. That's the whole idea. They wanted to get new people that have never read comics for really excited about comics. Just be sure to check them out this summer and leave all your comic book requests. I know people want me to do a button video. I've talked about the storyline in the past, but I might do like a more dedicated video to it. 
There'll be some new DC TV, Flash, Arrow in the next couple days. They're even talking about bringing Static Shock on one of the TV shows. But congratulations to the latest giveaway winner, John Adeyeye. Please private message me on the back end of my channel so I can get your contact details. Click here for brand new Flash and click here for brand new Game of Thrones. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.